welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and mac os lookalike distro linux distro called uh, pair os so by the name you can see it's a ripoff of apple's mac os and it's a chinese uh, linux distribution so you should be aware of that before going to download this is the official site and uh, the extension of this site is dot xyz so i wasn't sure if it is the official site because um, usually it's dot com so i think and also this site says as you will see later it has a lot of ads as well um, so it was kind of sketchy for me to go ahead and download and install it but this is how you do it you just go to how to install and they have a video as well and it is a youtube video so you can see right now it has a pop-up google ads so I think this is how they are trying to make money. So this has three versions and the name you can see it's so funny, the Thixer and the latest one is called Monterey and it's in beta stage. We have the Catalina as well. So these are all make like the remakes of the macOS official versions name. So this video we're going to download the uh, Monterey one. This is the latest beta and uh, you just hit on the download and it has this countdown as well. So it's another way of uh, to you stay on their website for longer so it's kind of sketchy so it is a chinese base so you should be aware of that i'm just using it for demonstration purpose because it is the closest you can get to mac os uh, look alike because it has taken a lot of the features and you are you will see it later and it is the closest mac os ripoff you can get right now so uh, let's go ahead and download and install it so you will see that download has started and it's gonna take a time again I will advise you to use an external download manager because the uh, Chrome's download manager doesn't work that fast once it has done downloading we need to have a partition made so we're going to go to search and then type in partition and open up this program called partition create and setup you can see i have already have a 50 gb partition made and i have another os and red os installed on it so i'm just going to delete that first and after deleting i will create a new volume so just create new volume and press next next and finish You can create any size of partition you want it should be above 20 gb to be on the safer side so now we have our partition made and make sure to also check your storage partition scheme so once the partition is made we're going to check the storage partition scheme as well to help us during our bootable pen drive making so just right click on your storage and click on properties under the volume tab you can see the partition scheme for me it is gpt so now we need to make the bootable pen drive with the uh, pair os so we will open up this rufus and then going to select the ISO file that we downloaded in the partition scheme make sure you choose whatever partition you have and then just start the process it will take a long time so you have to have patience do not interrupt the process in between or either otherwise the uh, the pen drive will be corrupted now we need to boot into the bios of our uh, computer so just while restarting on my hp laptop i have to press escape and this will show the bios options
and here you have to select using F9 button the boot device options and here I have to locate the our USB once we tap on that you will see this bootloader option just select the first pair OS you can see a lot of options but select the first option and you will see the pair OS booting screen it is similar to Mac OS you will get this screen just wait and you will see the final loading screen and now we are in the pair OS so this does not have a installation directly while installing you need to click on the installation icon on the top left corner just double click on it and the installation process should start the loading screen will take some time so you have to be patient so once it's done you need to click on next and then select your location I'm going to select India so Calcutta then click next now you need to select the keyboard layout now select replace a partition to install it on the partition that we created so try to look for the size of the partition you made it will automatically highlight it now select next and you need to type in the name and uh, your password so i think i've selected the wrong keyboard layout it is in hindi so i'm just gonna go back and select the english keyboard layout and from here just select english us the partition is still selected and now i can type in my name it will automatically create the other names for you then just select a password type in the password and press next it will start installing and this process is going to take a lot of time I'm just fast forwarding it so right now it says done and it will ask you to restart the computer so you need to press reboot restart and then press done and your computer will restart and you will get this boot screen so you can either just go to pair os or go to windows you will see this screen every time your computer restarts so you have the option to choose between the two os and now you will be booted into pair os so now let's explore so you have all your apps in this uh, app drawer you have your vlc and also the uh, photoshop uh, alternative called uh, gnu gnu and other sorts of firefox and you can just browse around and see for yourself this is the settings and the display settings bluetooth and everything It also has this thunderbolt management so if your laptop does support thunderbolt it will show up here this is the display settings you can select the orientation and also the refresh rate you can see the ui is so very similar to mac os transparent and translucent you can barely see the uh, the wall wallpaper behind you can see the animation of the dock very similar to mac os this is a safari browser uh, they have renamed it before it was called Pafari, which was really hilarious um, so i can see the i have not connected to the wi-fi so i need to do that first so remember while installing that was the live demo version so you need to reset set up everything again you can see all the this is the uh, it's kind of a linux browser it comes with 
built in with a lot of linux distributions so they have just themed it to look like mac os one Uh, this is the apple tv and apple uh, itunes alternative they have created uh, the tv apple tv one is not opening let's try this p tunes and we have the podcast as well we have the app store so uh, it's a good one you can have a lot of the apps that are available for uh, linux it is all readily available right here uh, it will load it will take some time but this does load up and you can install variety of apps and games from here you can see the podcast and music app has opened up and looks very similar to the apple one the interface is really good you have to commend them for their efforts in making this so beautiful looking they are really impressed by the interface uh, it's very similar to the mac os anybody has used it will find it really similar Mm, you can see the apps are loading if I try this this will load up you can see the all the media apps are right here you can also install apps via the uh, terminal window the sudo app you can install through that as well and you can see the different categories of app it's, it's better to have a dedicated app store rather than uh, installing every app through the terminal. This is the OBS Studio I have downloaded and it is working pretty fine. The performance is not bad at all. I also connected it through internet. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. So I think that is it uh, for this video and I hope you like this one and do give it a try and enjoy the macOS experience. I'll see you in the next one.